there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm really excited that you're here with me today for me to tell you about my beauty routine. Now, a lot of you in the comment section at different points will say, Beth, how do you do all this? How do you fit it all in? And actually, it looks like I do a lot and that's my job here is to test different things for you, but I don't use all of the things that I test. I just have a certain select group of things that I do on a weekly basis that I think really do pack a lot of punch in terms of good results. And before I get into sharing my beauty routine with you, and I think it's an easy beauty routine, I did want to show you the outfit that I have on today, and here it is, and all of the jewelry that I have on, and I don't have much jewelry on, just this watch, which is just beautiful. Love this watch and these little earrings. This whole outfit is from Amazon, and everything is linked below in the description. And if you're not yet a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll click that little bell. That will subscribe you to my channel and send you email notifications of all my future videos. Okay, in just a few moments, I'll be going through my weekly beauty routine with you. But before I get into that, I did want to show you a couple of items that I use every day of my life. The first is this wonderful Sleeping Glow pillow, and this is the Omnia pillow, and this portion of the video is sponsored by them, but I have used this pillow for almost three years now, since well before they sponsored me. I absolutely love it. It is the best beauty secret I have, I think, because when you're a back sleeper, you are not pressing wrinkles into your face for eight or 10 hours a night. Actually, I usually only sleep six hours, so it's not that long. But the Omnia pillow allows you to either be a back sleeper, so you're not getting any of those wrinkles pressed into your face, or you can even be a side sleeper with the Omnia pillow, because look at that, I am totally pressed down, the weight of my face and my head is totally in this pillow, but look, I have no wrinkles here because there's a divot on both sides of this pillow. So either way you want to face, you can be a side sleeper and still not get those facial wrinkles because look what it would be like if I slept on a normal pillow all night. Basically, I would be pressing the nasal fold wrinkles into my face and the under eye wrinkles. I seriously think that having a back sleeping pillow, especially one that allows you to sleep on your sides, is one of the best things that you can do in terms of decreasing your wrinkles from forming in the first place. And something else that I use on an ongoing basis, and this video is not sponsored by them, but I had to bring this up because I absolutely love this company. This is Agency, and this is the Agency skincare box that I get every single month in the mail from them. And here is how it looks. I'm having a hard time getting it organized here. But basically it comes with a cleanser and then there's a moisturizer, but these are the two big kahunas and they're what I absolutely purchased this box for. And I will tell you that there's a link below the video for you to get your first month free. You just pay $4.95 shipping and handling, but this allows me to get my tretinoin in. And tretinoin is a prescription strength formula that is proven to be very anti-aging in terms of your skin. Tretinoin reduces fine lines and wrinkles. It makes your skin tone look more even. It reduces the amount of sun damage on your face. It gradually fades the brown spots that you have. And I love the agency service so well because I don't have to search down a dermatologist. And in my town, there aren't too many of them. It takes months to get in and beg for a prescription for tretinoin which can cost God knows how much. It's a very kind of expensive thing if you get it from your pharmacy. This is my formula that my dermatology provider mixed up for me. But first, you'll complete a little online survey where you'll answer some questions about the goals that you have for your skin. Mine were the goals of probably every 60 plus year old in America, which is to reduce the fine lines and wrinkles, to help regrow collagen, and to help get a more even skin tone and reduce brown spots. Well, this is my tretinoin formula. I use the 0.5% strength. They go up to 1.25% strength, but I've never been able to tolerate anything more than the 0.5% strength, and it works very well for me. There's also dexpanthenol, tranexamic acid, which is to help with brown spots, niacinamide, which is an overall skin brightener. The niacinamide is 4%, which is a good strength there. So that is that formula there. And then I went ahead and added in their dark spot formula, which you would also have the option to do as well. And this contains 4% hydroquinone, which is a known skin bleaching agent, and it is scientifically proven to work. 
It has kojic acid, another skin lightener, azelaic acid, which does the same thing, and also reservatrol. And basically you apply the dark spot formula just to the effective dark spotted areas and you do that twice a day. So the agency formula is kind of a no brainer part of my skincare routine. It packs a lot of punch all in one step. Okay, this is actually two weeks after I started that video. And I mentioned at the first of the video that I was going to cut in to show you something kind of interesting that happened because I thought it would be interesting to show you in real time what a difference seven days can make. And let me do a split screen so you can see how I looked earlier in the video versus how I look now, which is two weeks later. And as you can see at the first of the video, I had a very puffy face. My jowls looked a lot more prominent. I am 60 plus years old, so I do have jowls, but now they really seem to have sunken in more and they don't seem nearly as pronounced. And so since we're talking about beauty routine, I wanted to hit one thing which I think is super, super important. I used to weigh every day and I say used to because about three weeks before Thanksgiving, our scale broke and I thought, oh, it just needs a battery. And so I kept asking Alan every few mornings when I think about it, hey honey, can you change the battery? And he never did and we got through Thanksgiving. So I was already about three Three weeks before Thanksgiving we went through Thanksgiving and then after Thanksgiving he did realize that the scale didn't need a battery that the scale was actually broken and so we had to order a new one which was another few days from Amazon but as a result I was about three and a half weeks without a scale and what happened is I got the new scale in the mail it exactly matched the old scale absolutely love this scale it's a great one except it did break but it is a great one but when I stepped on that scale, I was way out of my weight window. I am 5'6", and I like my weight window to be anywhere from 118 to maybe 120 pounds. But unfortunately, when I got on the scale, I was 123 pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but how I like to manage my weight is that every morning I get on the scale and I like to be in a certain weight window. And in my case, it's 118 to 120. Well, many times I'll get up and my weight will be 121, and then all I do is I'm very careful that day. I you know, watch things and I'm a little more careful and I lose that weight and I like to really stay in that weight window. Well, I always say there's a 200 pounder inside of this rather slim girl. And so I have to do things very proactively to manage my weight. And there's something even more interesting that happened with regard to this. It's only been in the last seven days that I knew my weight got high to 123 and now it's at 119 again. And the reason is the carnivore diet. And I saw Lisa Lisa D1 talking about the carnivore diet maybe a year ago, year and a half ago, and I kind of dismissed it. I thought that is very extreme and whatever. But then I happened to catch another one of her videos and it was about the carnivore diet and it was how it had really helped her with IBS. And as you know, if you followed my channel, I also suffer from IBS and it is truly horrible. And every now and then I'll do a video with my latest greatest IBS cure find and I really do think that the thing works, but unfortunately two weeks later, it's a problem and it's not working anymore. So anyway, I decided seven days ago just to go carnivore. I tried to be keto, but quite honestly, I had gotten very, very sloppy and I was eating desserts occasionally and I was eating cheat meals a couple of times a week with a lot of rice. I really wasn't a very good keto follower at all. But seven days ago, I decided to go carnivore and I've been very, very religious on that. And I'm not telling you that carnivore is for anyone else but me. I'm not recommending that diet. If you can go low carb, I think that is wonderful and quite effective. I just had the IBS problem. So I thought, hey, while I've got this weight up and I have this IBS problem, I will go ahead and go on carnivore. And for the first two days, I still had milder IBS. It was milder, but it was still there. And for the last five days, I have had no problems with IBS, like none, which is just a godsend. And this video is not about that. And if you'd like to see a video about my progress on carnivore, because I intend to keep it up at least for 30 days, I can't guarantee past that, but I hope to actually carry it on. And certainly if it gets rid of my IBS symptoms, I hope that I really will carry it on. But anyway, let's get back into my beauty routine. And I had never actually written up a beauty calendar until now. I did it in preparation for this video and here's a look at it. And most of my beauty routine items happen between Monday and Friday. And Monday through Friday morning at 5 a.m., I'm always going down in the basement to do my little weight workout. And while I'm down there, I take care of three of my beauty devices. Okay, at 4.30 in the morning, and it is afternoon right now, but at 4.30 in the morning, roughly every morning, Monday through Friday, I come downstairs in the basement to my exercise room, and this is my exercise room. 
I have a lot of good equipment there. I have some devices there kind of waiting in the wings. But during that time, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I usually do the Tony Horton Power 90 video. There's a little piece of it there. And there are some rest breaks during the video in which I come over and I actually turn over a little trash can there. I sit in front of the mirror there. And I basically do three different devices in the morning. First, I use the facial flex and you can see it right there. And second, I use the new faces and I have several there and I actually use two new faces at once. And if you'd like to see a video, I'll link that below. And I also use the Nira there. You can see the little Nira there. And so that way, Monday through Friday in the morning, I accomplish not only my devices, all three of them, but I also accomplish getting my workout done. Okay, I will briefly tell you a little bit about those beauty devices, although if you followed my channel, you probably know because I've used them for a long time. But the first one you don't see too much is the Facial Flex, and there it is. Basically, I use this little guy when my jowls are getting out of control, and they have been lately, so I'm back to using it. And what I do is, for maybe two to three months, I will do this a couple of times a day. Once in a while, it's just once a day, but I try to remember to do it twice a day. And you just put this little guy in your mouth, and it's basically an exerciser for the muscles in this part of your face. And so you just do like this, and I won't show you really what. I do 50, like one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I do 50 of those and I do it twice a day and I only do it for every two to three months and that is because it can give you little lip lines and I don't usually notice them until I've been doing this for a few months, but once that happens, then I back off on it. I try to remember to put my hand over my lips whenever I'm doing it to kind of keep the lip lines from forming, but quite honestly, I forget that. Now, the second item that I was using downstairs is the Nira, and I won't go into all the details, but it's basically a little non-invasive laser. It just does little pulses of laser light against your skin. I do it around my eyes and my crow's feet area, and also down here, and it really does combat wrinkles. I also do it in the nasal labial folds on both sides. Now, the third beauty device that I'm using down there is the New Face, and you've seen the New Face forever. And I have other microcurrent devices that I kind of cycle in and out down there because I have them all in little baggies. I put them in baggies now because it helps me keep the cords. I was losing cords. But anyway, this is the traditional New Face Trinity, and I use two of those actually, one on each side of my face, but Recently, New Face has come out with something new, and I'm so excited about this. And let me know if you'd like to see a video. This is the New Face Trinity Plus. The New Face Trinity Plus. And I don't know if you can see that, but it has the power button. You just power it on there. But then it has an extra little button here. And when you push that button, you can hear it go faster because that means you're giving more power. And the new face people say you can use this just in the areas you particularly need a little more power, but of course, I'm a more girl. And so I love using it at full strength all over my face. But what I do is instead of just using two new face trinities, I use one trinity and one trinity plus and halfway through, I kind of switch back and forth a little bit because I wanna make sure my face isn't lopsided. Now, taking a look at my beauty routine schedule again, you can see that I have wash hair on Monday and Thursday. And on Thursdays, I wash my hair and I actually deep condition it at that time once a week. And I also use a face mask. And so these are the products that I use for that. I wash my hair with my Kenra Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner that you've seen a zillion times before because it's great. And then I use this hair mask. It's an It's a Tin Miracle Hair Mask and I swear by this. I have other hair masks in my bathroom and every now and then I'll try to use one because I think I need to use them up, but I keep reordering this because there's something about it. It just really makes your hair, especially if you have processed hair like mine, it really makes your hair look a lot more like undamaged natural hair. Love that. And what I do on Thursday morning is, and I don't think I mentioned this before, but when I get up at 5 a.m., I go into the family room, have a cup of coffee, and do my devotions. And this is where I deep condition my hair. I go ahead and put the It's a Tin all over my towel dried hair. And then I just use a plastic bonnet. Sometimes I use a clear one. Sometimes I use this one with a little rubber ducks on it. Don't know why. But then I sit out there when I'm doing my devotions and I put this horribly ugly thing on. <laughs> it's falling out. But basically you can get these in many different colors and they're very inexpensive. 
but I really do think adding a heat bonnet to your hair when you're doing that deep conditioning really does help. And I've noticed my hair has a lot less breakage since I've started doing that. Really do like this bonnet. Let's look right in the middle of the page. On Tuesday and Thursday at about 2.30, I do the Aura Lift, the Eye Restore, and I also whiten my teeth. And you may wonder why I'm doing it at 2.30. That seems like a really weird time to do it. And it's really not 2.30. It's really any time in the afternoon when I'm editing my videos. What I do is I have to sit here editing my videos for sometimes two or three hours. And so I figure why not use that time to get in some beauty devices. And what I like to do is I like to use the Aura Lift because the Aura Lift can just sit in your mouth. It's an oral device. And basically what you're doing with the Aura Lift, it is helping to elongate your face a little bit and put your face back into the contours it had when you were younger. Because as we get older, our face and our muscles just kind of lax and down and we get a scrunchy face kind of, and everything hangs, the jowls hang, everything hangs. But the Aura Lift is designed to increase the amount of, they call it free space between your teeth and actually put the cheekbones in the place they were, get the muscles used to kind of supporting the face the way it used to when we were younger. What I do here is I just set my little timer and I put this in my mouth as I'm doing my videos and I'll just show it to you. It looks really ugly. I'm just kind of like this. So I'm sitting here editing my videos, not thinking about it much. And as this thing is in my mind, I know that I have that amount of time. So I also use the Eye Restore. And I like to use the Eye Restore every other day, but most of the time it's Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe a Saturday. And Alan uses this along with me half the time. He comes into the makeup room to use it because I have it in a little plastic bin underneath my camera table here. And so he just knows to pull it out. I have two chairs in here and he'll come home from work four o'clock or whatever. And he'll just sit there with this thing on his head. But I like to do double duty when I use my Eye Restore rather than just sitting there wasting time. Either I will do it in the evening when I'm watching TV, but most of the time I will usually do it when I'm editing videos because it's so easy. I don't have the Aura Lift in my mouth and then I have this thing on my head. And another thing I've incorporated recently while I'm doing the Aura Lift is that I have been trying to start using these whitening strips. This is kind of a new thing for me and I'm trying to make it into a habit. And I can't really vouch for these. I've used them twice and I think they work but it's very hard for me to tell until I've used them for a while. But these were very highly rated on Amazon. The other ones that I loved, that company seems to have gone out of business, which is horrible. But anyway, these are the Luminex Whitening Strips, very highly rated on Amazon. I'll let you know in a future video if I like them. Now let's go back to the beauty calendar again. In the evenings, I always apply my lash and brow serums, and I do that actually seven days a week. And in the lower left are some other beauty routine items that I do. Every morning I weigh myself, and as I mentioned before, I just realized recently how very important that really is. Every evening I plan my outfit for the next day so I know what I'm wearing. Every Sunday I fill my little supplement plastic trays for the week. The first of each month I dye my eyebrows, and every six weeks I get a haircut and color. And going back into the items I do every evening, I did want to show you the Revita Brow, which I really do like this Revita Brow. I think it's really helping grow in my lashes and brows. And also I've been really liking this Revita Lash Advanced and it is a lash growth serum. And I just use one swipe on each eyelash line. And I think it really does help. And one thing I don't have on my schedule, on my beauty routine schedule is these little Invisaligners. These are basically my retainers that I use to keep my lower teeth straight. They are really very straight. Actually, we're not quite into retainers. They actually got me a second set of these because one of my teeth on the bottom after their normal course of treatment, it just wasn't in line the way I wanted it to be. And so they made me another set, which is part of the bite program. And if you'd like to see a video two on the bite program, or if you'd like to watch the first video on it, it is a great way to get straight teeth with Invisalign braces, which you can hardly see. Okay, that was a look at my beauty routine, and I would love to hear from you if you also have a weekly beauty routine you do. Just let all of us know in the comment section what you do, and if you think it's being helpful, that would be wonderful. And in conclusion, I would like to say that I used to add a thought for the day at the end of every video, but I got into thinking that maybe it made my videos too long, so I stopped that practice for the last maybe two to three months. I'm going to do a thought for the day, and I'm going to add them back into my videos, I believe, but 
please let me know in my comment section below the video if you think I should have the thought for the day or if you think I should not. The whole idea behind them is my beauty channel should be about beauty on the outside and also feeling good and looking beautiful on the inside. Okay, so this is my thought for the day and I don't have any cards to share with you, but lately I've been doing a lot of research into cognitive behavioral therapy. And that is the idea that we use our cognition and behavior to control our mood. And by cognition, it's basically your emotions and feelings. And I used to think that if you were a little bit depressed, you would just sort of say, oh, kick your mood into gear, change your thoughts, change your emotions. But sometimes I realized that was not easy to do. And now I've learned a little more about cognitive behavioral therapy, which gives me yet another tool, which I think could help you. And that is the idea that cognitive behavioral therapy is the idea that you can change your mood, you can change your state, by changing your thoughts and feelings, your cognition, but also by getting up and changing your behavior. For instance, if you're sitting on the couch one day eating chips or something and you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I'm just depressed, life is horrible, I feel awful, then instead of trying to just change your thoughts and feelings, which is sometimes hard to do, you should change your behavior. In other words, what I do is I have a little list of things that I do and let me know if you'd like me to share that list with you in a future video. But one of the things on my list is clean out a drawer. So in those times when I'm thinking, oh, I'm bored, I'm a little bit depressed, I get up and I clean out a drawer. And actually I've been doing that every day for maybe the past two to three weeks and almost all the drawers in my house are now clean. And I've noticed that it really does change my state. It takes me maybe two to five minutes to clean out a drawer and by the time I'm finished with that, number one, I'm looking at the drawer and feeling like, oh, I accomplished something, doesn't that feel great? And number two, it seems like my depression is largely gone. So let me know what you think about that idea or if you have other things you do to control your feelings when you get a little bit down. Well, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.